Larry, thank you for all of those updates. And now the teams are coming back onto the field, and we're about to get the second half started. The second half is officially underway. He'll take it from the one. And he's tackled right at about the 28-yard line. Close game right now, partner, and you look at the matchup and running back, and neither one of them has really been all that effective. No, Jim, they have not been. I'll say this to the running backs, to the coaches, to the offensive line, everybody. Stay patient, stay with the run game, and I think it will work. They bring in the extra tight end. And a flag comes out. Neutral zone infraction. Defense. Players from both sides making an appeal, but the down. officials saw it on the defense. down at the 33 tried to find his target over the middle but that pass goes incomplete got to give the defense a lot of a lot of credit there don't you Jim they are all over the receivers all over the field nowhere to throw it and it just results in an incompletion second down coming up Russell Wilson has it under center handoff made they've got him behind a line of scrimmage Lions defensive coordinator, my gosh, he is one happy guy. Anytime you get in the backfield and stop a runner and make him lose yards, that's some good stuff. It'll be third down. Jackson's lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Going deep. Incomplete. And this is going to be a three and out. Wilson's in a whole lot of pain right now. We'll take an injury timeout and be back in just a moment. We're back after the injury timeout, and Danielle Bellini will have the update on the injury in just a moment. Well, that looks like an upper body injury, Jim. I think we both can tell that, and uh, now the question is, how bad is it? Uh, you just never know. The Seahawks call on the punting team. There's a flag right there. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. Well, we're anxious to hear the full story on that injury. Let's go down to Danielle Bellini with the story. Guys, I just spoke with a Seahawks official. Russell Wilson's diagnosis as of now is a torn shoulder ligament, but doctors can't be 100% sure until he gets an MRI. The Seahawks will take the snap from the 30. Looks, but can't connect on the short throw. Second down after the incompletion. Double tight end formation. They'll run it here. 
still powering ahead. And pick up about four. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go. And they stop him for a short game. At the 34, 66 yards from pay dirt. Third down and six. Jackson's going to secure the handoff. The Seahawks believe they can pick up the first in this short yardage situation and keep the offense on the field. The Seahawks take it from the 38. Takes it out of the eye. The Seahawks turn the ball over on downs. A huge fourth down stop by the defense. What kind of momentum boost is that going to give them down the stretch here, partner? Well, it's not going to hurt anything, that's for sure, Jim. And I'll just say this about their defense. It's been solid all day long. Big stop there. And it's put this team in a great position to really take control of this game. This series begins for the offense with a very good chance to score. The Lions come out with a split backfield. The Lions have it at the 39. Makes the catch in the open field. That's what you want to do. Get a first down while you're on top and keep that clock moving and just controlling the football game. Good job by the offense managing things so far here today. The Lions take it from the 23. Brandon Meebane gets to the quarterback. Well, that's a good job by the defense that time, getting the sack on the blitz. And when you blitz, you're taking a chance. You better get to the quarterback, and that time they did. Loss of five on the play. Snapping the football from the 28. Second and long. Stafford's pass will go for an incompletion. We don't always get to see defensive matchups these days, but today it's been exactly that. Low scoring game, and it's because both defenses have really stepped up and done their job. Yeah, a lot of people look at games like this and go, oh, that's boring. I think it's fun to see because we don't get to see it too often. And what it does, it puts a lot of pressure on the players and especially the coaches to make decisions that are going to give their team a chance to win in a game like this. The Lions will look to get to the 13 to pick up a first. Gets his feet down right near the chalk. This team, one of the better tackling teams in the NFL, and they play the situation perfectly. They give up the short completion. They come up and make the tackle. Now we have a fourth down. Prater set to attempt the field goal. Good, no good. The Seahawks have failed to come away with points on three consecutive drives. Their offense takes the field again now. What's caused them to go silent here, partner? Listen, let's give all the credit to the defense. They are being very creative on the defensive side. The coach is calling the right plays, and they are just taking it to the offense right now. The more aggressive team is winning, and that's the defense. Two tight ends on the field here. The Seahawks snap it at the 26. Into the hands of Jimmy Graham. The Seahawks just picked up a big first down that time, Jim. When you're down in the second half, every first down is crucial. Nice job that time by the offense. First down at the 49. Here's the handoff. He 
you got to be big, strong, you got to be tough. And we saw all those qualities that time in that run. Look at the broken tackle. We head to the fourth quarter, and it's still anyone's game. We're coming down to the wire in this one, and we're back in just a moment. So here we go, partner. The fourth quarter.